In this video, you will convert the auxiliary cassette tape into a wireless Bluetooth cassette that will automatically turn on when inserted and turn off when ejected. First you want to make sure the auxiliary cassette works in your car. I have found that the Monster cassette tape has one of the best tape heads. Remove the five small screws with a small Phillips screwdriver. You must test your car stereo to find out if the cassette will eject without the detection wheels. Remove these three wheels and put everything back. If your stereo ejects the cassette with these wheels missing, you can only fit one battery in this tutorial. The red wire is the right channel, the green wire is the left channel, and the yellow wire is the ground. This is the Bluetooth chip. This is the Type-C charger. This is the microphone, and this is an optional feature you can install. It is not that great, it picks up the wheel noises inside the cassette. These are the two batteries. The Bluetooth chip will be placed in this corner. Remove the plastic pieces with tweezers or pliers. To fit the Bluetooth chip inside, use the cutting bit with a Dremel to remove some of the plastic pieces in the way. Cut this end of the bottom piece. Remove any big bumps in the way. Cut away the wall where the wheel is to fit the charger and Bluetooth chip. Cut away this section so that the charging cable can fit through. Do the same cutting for the top piece as well. Use double-sided tape to temporarily hold the charger in place. Use a razor blade to cut away the yellow, green, blue, white, and orange wires on the Bluetooth chip. Be careful and don't push too hard, cut gently. You can cut the brown wire if you are not going to use a microphone. I am going to place the microphone right in between the charger and the Bluetooth chip. Use a smaller cutting bit or a drill bit to make a hole. Cut the bumps on the top cover where the battery will be. Super glue the charger.
it's time to solder. Grab two previous cut wires and solder the wires on the battery terminals on the charger chip, labeled B positive and B negative. Super glue the bottom plastic piece. Cut the soldered wires, one close to the wheel, and the other wire, cut a little further away. Then, strip the end of the wires. Tie together the three positive wires from the batteries and the charger chip. Then, solder. Do the same for the three negative wires. Use double-sided tape to hold the batteries in place. Use tweezers to move the wires out of the way for the wheels. This is the micro switch that will turn on the Bluetooth chip when the tape head is pressed down. Apply double-sided tape and cut away the excess around the corners. Place the micro switch corner to corner from the top of the tape head base to the bottom corner of the micro switch. Grab another wire and cut about half an inch. Strip the end and solder to the out positive on the charger chip. Solder to the metal contact in the middle on the micro switch. Make sure to not solder on the top as it will increase the height and the top cover won't close properly. Cut the Bluetooth chip wires to appropriate length. Let's start with the black and red wires labeled PGND and plus 5V, cut to where the micro switch is. Cut the gray wire to the top of the charger chip, cut black wire just slightly lower, and the same for the purple wire to prevent touching contact points. Cut the brown wire to the location of the microphone. Strip the ends of all six wires to get ready for soldering. Solder the red wire to the micro switch, and again, don't solder on top, try to solder in the middle to prevent increase in height. To solder the microphone, grab some auxiliary wire and burn off the end with your soldering iron. Then, solder to the negative terminal on the microphone. Solder the brown wire to the positive terminal on the microphone. Apply a very small amount of super glue. Cut the negative auxiliary wire from the microphone same length as the black PGND wire. Burn off the coating at the tip with soldering iron, then slide both wires into the out negative terminal on the charger chip and solder together. Carefully remove the wire insulator from the tape head wires. Cut these wires to match the Bluetooth chip wires. Red wire will go to gray, yellow will go to black, and green will go to purple. Burn off the ends with the soldering iron, and then solder each wire accordingly. Grab some duct tape and cut a small square to prevent the micro switch from touching the wire terminals. Stretch the springs just slightly to provide more resistance. Carefully place the tape head with base and springs back in place, also make sure the micro switch lever is below the duct tape. Carefully move the wires around so that it won't be near the wheel and that no contact points could touch each other. Super glue one or two plastic pieces below the micro switch to prevent moving down when pressed. 
If you can only do one battery because your stereo ejects without the detection wheels, you can run the battery wires to the bottom and around the Bluetooth chip. If the cassette doesn't turn on in your stereo, move the micro switch up slightly. Thanks for watching and good luck.